Moss is everywhere in nature. You can put it in almost any building, it makes you look instantly better. It helps bring scapes together, and especially in small builds, it helps preserve a sense of scale. However, it seems silly to buy mosses when you can find them so easily, but wild mosses contain dangerous parasites and pests that can harm your pets. So a good precaution to take is to quarantine your moss before you use it. So, let's get right into it. It's a very simple process to quarantine and prepare moss. The first thing you need to do is just wash off as much of the debris as you can. The moss will probably break up into smaller chunks, but this can be quite good as it means you'll have more manageable pieces of moss to work with. To store it, I like to use microwave containers with a few holes poked in the lid, as they're very cost effective. All you need to do now is fill the container about a third of the way up with the substrate. I'm just using some from a previous build that I have left over, but almost anything would do. Finally, just place the moss, leaving adequate room between each one so they don't have to compete for space. Make sure to spray it down with some water every few days, depending on how much ventilation you have. Ideally, I keep the moss in quarantine for about a month to make sure it is safe and to help propagate it. However, keeping it for a week should be sufficient. For Not only does quarantining moss greatly reduce the chance of it being dangerous, but it also helps propagate it in conditions similar to your terrarium so it can thrive and flourish. When I have a project that I'm going to start working on, one of the first things that I do is make a couple of moss boxes. So, by the time I'm ready to plant, I have a good selection of thriving mosses to use. Here's two boxes that I've had up for three weeks now for my nano jungle terrarium build. So if you want to see that, please consider subscribing. But as you can see, the mosses begin to thrive and really starting to look good. I can't wait till I can finally add it into the tank. Well, that's all for now and thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions about anything I might have missed, just let me know down in the comments and I'll make sure to help out. Thank you.